Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for Hulk Hogan! This is awesome. The whole room, brother, full of fitness people, man, that are in good shape, just like you. That's unbelievable, huh? You guys having a good time? Yeah. Well, thank you very much. Thank you very much. It's an honor to be here. Usually I'm here wrestling with the WWE, and it's kind of crazy today to be here not wrestling, but uh, it's an honor to be here with everybody that's in shape and in the fitness and health. And I'm going to be signing autographs in the Body Power. Uh, so that would be a good one. Is that a good one? I think it is. Ah, so I will be there and uh, hopefully I'll get to see all, all you guys in there. And it's such beautiful weather. It's kind of like Florida or California. I think I need to move here. So what, what's the deal, man? What are we doing here with you? So I'm going to do some body slamming and working out. What's the deal? Can I body slam you? Sure, go for it. I'll let you go. So when was the last time you were in the UK, huh? Uh, I was here probably five or six months ago with the WWE. Right, and how was it then, and how do you feel now? Well, I mean, it's the same as it always is. Every time I come here, the fans are so loyal, they treat me like I'm still the champion. And they make it, hey, thank you. And these guys are so loyal, they make me feel like I'm 30 years old again, so I love it here. You're one of the most recognized wrestlers in the world. Everybody in every country knows who Hulk Hogan is. What's the most memorable times of your career? Well, I mean, if we're talking about my career, I've been around for about 150 years. So, I mean, you know, we got to go back to the WrestleMania one. You know, when we first started all the craziness with Mr. T and Roddy Piper and stuff like that. And some of the big moments were slamming Andre the Giant, you know, wrestling The Rock, beating up the boss, Vince McMahon, that was a lot of fun. So I've had a lot of great moments thanks to all these guys that have kept me around. You've been doing a lot more than just Wrestling, right? You're, uh, you've worked in a few movies as well. Uh, you've been doing a TV show. Uh, you're also a musician, right? Yeah, well, a lot of people don't realize before I ever uh, got into wrestling business. I mean, yeah, of course you can. Before I, I say that, uh, before I get into wrestling business, I played music for about 10 years and uh, was a studio musician in Atlanta, Georgia. I was a huge wrestling fan, and so my dreams came true. I, Went down to wrestle and they broke my leg the first day. And of course, that was 35 years ago. But yeah, I did a lot of stuff. I had a, a chance to do a lot of movies uh, during the 80s and 90s. A couple reality TV shows that were <clears throat> awesome. But uh, yeah, it's been a great career. Ultimate Warrior, Macho Man, Randy Savage. These guys, obviously, you, you fought these guys in a really absolutely fantastic. Tell us some stories about these guys. Well, I mean, you know. There are so many stories I can tell you. There's a lot of stories I can't tell you. But, uh, you know, being in the ring with Randy Savage, a macho man, was just a lot of fun because he was like that, yeah, he was like that 24 hours a day. So to be in the ring with a macho man was uh, always my favorite guy to wrestle. I had a couple good matches with the Ultimate Warrior, um, and he was in and out of the business a lot. He didn't, he didn't stick around too long, but with the matches I have with them are really good. So what do you do in the UK, what are you doing in the UK now? I understand you're with a supplement company now, right? Yeah, I'm here with uh, BPI, and um, just signed a deal with them, you know, to do the endorsement for the Funk Mars, a lot of their other products, and uh, hanging out with Jay Cutler, so that's always a lot of fun, you know, to get some tips from Jay. And uh, basically here to uh, endorse BPI, and it's almost like a vacation whenever I get to come to the UK. It's, uh, it's not work, it's a lot of fun to be here. So you won 12 championships in total, right? Six for the WCW, six for the WWE, two Royal Rumbles. How does that feel? Well, it felt great. I mean, there was a, a championship nobody talks about. It was the one with uh, Shin Nippon Pro Wrestling in Japan, the IWGP Championship, which the wrestling in Japan is much different than here. Um, yeah, it was, it was great to uh, be the champion. Back in the day when I worked for Vince McMahon Sr., the champion actually got paid more money. 
than anybody else. So it was a it was a dog fight to stay on top, but uh, it's been a great career and a lot of fun. Growing up, I used to watch you, and I was one of the biggest fans, as most of the people here are. You still look the same. Well, you know, I keep the, there's not much hair on the top left. I keep the rest of it in a ponytail in the back, you know. But uh, I'm 61 years young, and uh, I still train five or six days a week. And, uh, you know, I have a little problem with eating because I'm, I'm addicted to chocolate. And I like to drink a lot of red wine nowadays. But, uh, you know, it's still the same with me. I still train hard and use much lighter weights. And uh, my training's changed a lot because I had nine back surgeries. And uh, I had both of my knees replaced and both hips replaced. And when I got into the wrestling business, nobody told me it was fake. I, I missed that part. So, it's not fake, is it? Excuse me? Is it fake? Well, the ending is predetermined. But what most people don't realize is what happens in that ring, there's a lot of injuries. And so, you know, after wrestling over 30 years, you know, my body kind of shut down on me and went through nine different back surgeries and I had to change my my workouts. You know, I couldn't do the heavy squatting or any of the heavy pushing. So basically I train really fast with light weights now. You took your debut into wrestling in 1978, right? 1978, yes. In Florida. So how did you know that you were going to become such a big name in the wrestling oh, industry? No, but I was just the only reason I wanted to get into wrestling, I played music for many years. And then I wanted to get into wrestling because I was such a huge wrestling fan. But I was really trying to avoid working a real job. You know, I would do anything not to have to work nine to five or eight to five. So, you know, the wrestling business was something I loved. I never dreamed that it would take off like it has. So what countries have you traveled? And what, how does it feel to inspire so many youngsters across the world? Well, you know, I've traveled to almost every country except for Russia and China. I've never wrestled there, but you know, it's just amazing to see all the kids, how they're attracted to the wrestlers, and it was really cool to come up with a Hulk Hogan character, because so many kids back in the day started training and saying their prayers, eating their vitamins, and kind of caught on and became a big deal, so it was, it was really neat to uh, be involved from the very beginning. What inspiring message can you give to the audience here today who are uh, aspiring athletes who want to get into the health and fitness industry or maybe even become wrestlers like yourself? Well, I don't know about becoming wrestlers, but you know, that's, that can be your dream if that's what you want. But I found out that hard work pays off and there are no, no shortcuts. Um, you have to be very, very consistent with everything you do. You know, this is a a fitness audience and then these guys know about the sleeping and, and the training and, and the diet, you know, and so you have to be really, really consistent. And at the end of the day, if you look at the final outcome and you say, I want to become great or I want to become a champion or I want to become healthy and I want to have a great relationship or I want to, you know, become live in abundance, you have to work for that final outcome. If you stay focused, Everything kind of lines up and different breaks happen and different situations happen. And you'd be amazed how the universe kind of bends things around to make things happen for you. But you have to be always thinking of that final outcome. So believe in yourself and be very, very consistent. Tell us about your acting career. How did you get into Hollywood? Well, my acting career sucked. I mean, you know, I, I had a chance to... I mean, I kind of cracked the door open for the, for the wrestlers. And when I cracked the door open, the rock, he just kicked the door down. I mean, he just took it to a whole nother level. But I did about 14 or 15 low-budget movies for kids. But I really didn't want to, during the 80s and 90s, I did not want to do the acting because every time I'd leave for two or three months, I would miss so much of the wrestling. And at the time, the wrestling was so popular, and there was so much money to be made. Every time I'd go do a movie, I'd almost like fall behind and then I'd have to go back and work hard to catch back up. So my timing wasn't really good with the movies. Can we expect any movies from you in the future? Yeah, I just finished one with uh, David Hasselhoff uh, called Celebrity Deadpool where we're all trying to kill David. I actually pushed him out of an airplane without a parachute. He survived on it. And uh, just today I made a movie with Scooby-Doo, so I um, was talking on the phone with Sly last night about doing Expendables 4 and we're trying to figure out a way that maybe we could turn me into the most evil man in the world. So, you know, 
Stallone gave me my first break, and he's been a, a great friend for all these years. And he's the exact same guy today that he was 30 years ago. And uh, we had a great conversation talking about the possibilities. Can I still run? Can I still jump? I said, well, not as fast and not as high, but, you know, I think Hollywood could find a good stuntman to help me out. So what other plans do you have for the future? What can we expect from Hulk Hogan? Well, I'm still with the WWE, and uh, I signed a new deal with them, and I'm doing a, a lot of corporate stuff and a lot of international stuff with the WWE to make sure that uh, everybody knows about the new group of wrestlers coming up. We have a 24-hour network on WWE for only $9.99. And, uh, you know, I just want to stay involved. You know, people keep saying, well, Paul, you know, you're 61 years old or 61 years young. When are you going to retire? I mean, I, I never want to retire. What, what would I do? I would just sit home and watch the kids run up and down the beach. I just love being around young people like this. I young, love being around the fitness industry. I, I love wrestling. It's my passion. So. I'll probably still be going out to the ring when my manager Jimmy Hart's pushing me out from the wheelchair. I'll probably never leave. So, so I'm trying, brother. I'm trying to get there. I'm training for it. Next year, WrestleMania is going to be at the AT&T Stadium in Dallas, Texas. And I've got the indoor attendance record with Andre the Giant, 93,000 people. And I talked to Vince McMahon, and he's going to break the record next year and put over 100,000 people, so I've, I told Vince I've got a big problem with that. I need to be on the car wrestling somebody, so he challenged me to get in shape for a WrestleMania, so that's what I'm doing now. I've gotten under 300 pounds. I'm down to 295 now. That's, that's how much I weighed when I was in high school. So I'm getting the weight down. I'm trying to get ready, brother. You're going to be at the media booth where people can come and sign and take pictures with yourself, right? Um, I know you're short on time, but is there any messages that you'd like to give to the audience here who are here to see you today? No, I'd just like to thank you guys, everybody, for always being so kind and so graceful to me. Um, my career has been like this, like a roller coaster. And the one thing I can say about all the fans is you guys are honest and you're loyal. And I respect that. And I just appreciate everything you guys have always done for me. I appreciate you guys always being there for me. And no matter how crazy it gets, I just want you guys to know that I love you. And I've got nothing but love for everybody out there. I just respect everybody so much for, you know, working hard and taking care of themselves. It's a, it's an honor to be here with this group of beautiful young people. Oh, Thank you so much. Let's hear it,